Good evening and welcome to the daily market update. The DSEX returned to the green zone today as the market gained 8.36 points or 0.13% and settled at 6,258 points. Market turnover was BDT 6.45 billion, which is an increase of 89.43% compared to the previous trading day. Khan Brothers PP woven back, Berger Paints and Emerald Oil from the industrial sector, Heidelberg Cement, Crown Cement and Premier Cement from the cement sector, Square Pharmaceuticals and Central Pharmaceuticals from the pharmaceutical sector mainly pulled up the market today. In terms of sector-wise return, the cement sector posted the highest gain of 0.57%, while the textile sector registered the second highest gain of 0.34%. On the other hand, the insurance sector posted the highest loss of 0.54% today. Five textile companies and four industrial companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Khan Brothers, PP Woven Bag Industries, those three industries and Central Pharmaceuticals registered the highest gain, while Gemini Seafood, MB Pharmaceuticals and GQ Ball Pen Industries were the top losers today. Khan Brothers PP Woven Bag Industries grew today as there was no price limit on the trading of shares due to its corporate declaration. Those three industries registered as one of the top gainers as they posted a positive earnings growth today. Gemini Seafood and GQ Ballpen Industries both fell in value today as they posted a negative earnings growth today. While MB Pharmaceuticals fell in value today despite posting encouraging earnings, there is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Kulna Power Company, Kotoli Textile and Aman Feed increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. The volume of Kulna Power Company and Aman Feed increased significantly today as they both posted positive earnings growth. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of the remaining stocks. Today's top two news businesses from both wholesale and retail level have gone down as high as 50% in the recent time due to the nationwide blockade. This came at a time when the prices of commodities were already rising high and the people were already suffering due to the higher cost of living. Now the blockade is fueling the crisis situation, making people's lives more difficult. The Japanese development partner GKA is likely to provide another USD 500 million loan to Bangladesh. The loan will be utilized to complete the remaining work on the third terminal of the Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport HSIA. And it is expected that the remaining work will be completed by the middle of next year if the loan gets sanctioned on time. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Taka Stock Exchange. Follow LR Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.